Life Before Us, Episode 3. Robbie O'Connor Dunbar was born at the Scarborough General Hospital, arriving into this world nine months and one day after the plane tragedy that killed his daddy, Cadet Dunbar. The mother would try to keep the identity of the father a secret, but many would gossip and the truth would eventually come to light. Plain Jane was the queen of gossip, and there were no Dunbar family secrets that she did not know or would eventually find out about. Plain Jane was a Scarborough general for her candy striping duties when by chance she sees a young Robbie in the maternity ward. She knew instantly who had fathered Miss O'Connor's bouncing baby bad boy. She asked her confident, Can you keep a secret? And Shirley says, My lips sealed. Bobby O'Connor Dunbar, or Rod for short, would grow up to become a devilishly handsome young man who loved to fish. Rod was known for playing practical jokes on everybody he would ever meet. I caught a darn big catfish down Cottage Creek, big as a man it was, huge. Nearly charred my arm off it did, hooked it on moonshine and bully beef. Robbie O'Connor Dunbar was the spitting image of his great-grandfather, Colonel B. Dunbar. I'm working on getting a new coat for Madame Beard. It's getting that long. Should stay me for the winter. It's damn near bulletproof, it's that wiry. Rod's best practical joke was when he convinced the Prime Minister of Canada that he was the head of the Canadian Navy and that the Canadian naval forces could get their new ships for the war effort to their European destinations faster by sailing over Niagara Falls. The Prime Minister took the advice, resulting in extending the length of the Second Great War. Agent X was extremely pissed. Several assassination attempts were made on the life of Robbie O'Connor Dunbar. Episode 3 of The Life Before Us Written by Rupert Payne and Johnny Connexter Narrated by Rob Stevens